So today we are going to be working on the University of Waterloo's Canadian Computing Competition Junior 1 from 2020. So the problem is uh, there is some dog treats. So Barley the dog loves treats. Essentially, he can have a certain he gets a certain number of treats in small, medium, and large every single day. And depending on how many overall treats he gets, depending on the size, he's either happy or not happy. Right, so you can see here if Barley's happiness score is 10 or greater, then he's happy, otherwise he's sad. Determine whether Barley is happy or sad at the end of the day. There's three lines of input. As you can see, the first one is this number of small treats, the second one's the number of medium, and the third is the number of large. And then if he's got 10 or more, then uh, he ends up being happy or sad. All right, so let's take a look at how we would do this. All right, so Remember for CCC, you don't have, you should not add extra things to the output. So there's no prompts or anything like that. In this case, we're going to need to know the number of small, medium, and large treats. Okay, so we're going to have three variables: int, small, medium, large. In C++, we don't have to initialize them, but I suppose it would be good practice to just do that anyways. So, all right. And then all you're going to do is say cn small, cn medium, and cn large. Okay, so what we have is we're just taking the three in. And that's just basically as shown in the input from the question. Now, what it says is there's an if statement. So if is happiness score. Now, his happiness score is determined by doing one times small plus two times medium plus three times large. All right, and that's the happiness score. Now you could actually calculate the happiness score separately. So you could say something like this, int happiness is equal to this. All right, and in the brackets then, you could just put if happiness is, and then you have to be really careful here because they said if it's uh, is 10 or greater, which means greater than or equal to 10. Some people will just put greater than, and then you'll almost certainly fail one of the tests. So don't do that, all right? So we're gonna say if happiness is greater than or equal to 10, then we see out the word happy, else, we see out the word sad, and I forgot to put I forgot to put quotes there. Okay, but as you can see, we initialize this variable here for no reason, right? Uh, because basically, we could have just put that equation in here, and then we can get rid of the one line of code there. Okay, so. Let's try it out. Let's give him a happiness of 10. So let's see, if you get like five small, um, one medium, one large, that should give you a 10. Okay, then he's happy. All right, looks like it works. Okay, so now that we got a working program, we're gonna put it into the online grader to test it out. And I've already loaded it up into the online grader. The programming language is C++. We're going to submit. Okay, so there's my code. And here it says refresh the page to see updated results. So we're going to refresh. And usually this uh, might take a little while. If you actually know what you're doing, this will probably actually take longer than coding it. Okay, so there we go. Correct, correct, correct. Okay, so as we go, more correct. Next three, correct. Okay. And there you go, all correct. So got all 15 points on this one. So you can see what happens is they go through a number of different tests and what they're doing is they're just checking to see like what you do if, you, if they put certain types of information in. But anyways, that's it for J1. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, throw them into the comment section. Remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video.